All right, let's take a look at what could potentially happen to Jody Aries. We'll start with the most simple and work to the most complicated. The most simple is if the jury comes back not guilty, then she goes free, like that woman down in Orlando, Casey Anthony. Jody Aries will be free to do whatever she wants. Also, not too complicated, if she's found guilty of a lesser included of manslaughter, then the judge will sentence her, and the sentencing range for manslaughter is 7 to 21 years in prison. So that's relatively simple. If it's second degree murder, same scenario, just more time. Second degree murder, the judge will sentence her somewhere between 10 to 22 years in prison. Now in these two scenarios, remember, she's already served five years, so she'll get credit for that, deducted from the total amount of time that she'll serve in prison. Now, if she's found guilty of first degree premeditated murder or first degree felony murder or both, it gets much more complicated because then from there it moves to the aggravation phase and here it's like a, a mini trial where the same jurors will hear evidence and determine whether or not she's guilty or not guilty of killing Travis Alexander in a cruel manner those are the magic words cruel manner if she's found not guilty of killing Travis Alexander in a cruel manner then it's life in prison for Jody Arias so a serious penalty, but not the potential for death. If they do, in fact, find her guilty of killing Travis in a cruel manner, then we move on to the next phase, the penalty phase. Again, it will be the jury making the decision. Is it death or life in prison? A determination to be made by the jury.